Ever thought that the Earth spins around a stationary sun? Well, it's not that simple or boring. Our planet is not only circling the sun, but it's also zipping through the cosmos at mind-blowing speeds with our whole solar system. This epic journey might be linked to the universe's biggest secrets. For example, scientific theories hint that our movement could expose us to cosmic rays, potentially causing genetic changes and even mass extinction events. Even slight shifts in our orbit could trigger significant climate changes, like an ice age. By understanding Earth's cosmic dance, we'll appreciate our place in the universe and uncover answers to big questions, like how our galaxy formed and what lies ahead. So join us as we delve deeper into these mysteries and astronomical adventures. But don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Imagine yourself aboard a plane, maintaining a steady speed and height. While inside, perceiving any motion is challenging, it appears only the external world is moving. However, an observer on the ground can detect the aircraft's motion relative to their stationary position. This concept, first articulated by Galileo Galilei in his 1632 book The Dialogue Concerning the Two Chief World Systems, illustrates what we now term Galilean relativity, or invariance implying no absolute reference frame for motion. Each frame of reference is valid, and the most applicable one depends on the situation. So how does this relate to Earth's motion in the solar system? First, we need to establish the observation point. Within our star system, it's apparent that the planets orbit the sun. Yet from a broader viewpoint, we see a different panorama. Our solar system is perpetually spiraling through our galaxy. Earth's elliptical orbit around the sun, known as the revolution, exemplifies relative motion. As the orbit is in a perfect circle, Earth's distance from the Sun varies, being closest at perihelion around January 3rd and farthest at aphelion around July 4th, a phenomenon visible in seasonal weather changes. The common depiction of the solar system with the Sun at the center and planets revolving around it is somewhat misleading. The planets, especially the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn, exert gravitational pull on the Sun and Earth, causing shifts in their orbits. When Jupiter and Saturn come into even slight alignment, their collective gravitational influence significantly impacts all entities in the solar system. This considerable effect is referred to as the perturbation of the outer planets. Over time, Earth's orbit undergoes subtle shifts, gradually accumulating and driving long-term variations in our planet's climate and general environment. These alterations are recognized as Milankovitch's cycles. One prominent feature of these cycles is the Earth's axial tilt, oscillating between approximately 22 and 24 and a half degrees over a cycle lasting roughly 41,000 years. This fluctuation directly impacts the quantity of solar radiation reaching different portions of Earth, affecting the onset and severity of glacial periods or ice ages. Based on these cycles, some scientists conjecture that a new ice age may commence relatively soon, extending over tens of thousands of years. However, it's crucial to acknowledge that anthropogenic climate changes currently interfere with Earth's natural climate changes, complicating the prediction of future ice ages exact timings and intensities. Let's be real, the pattern of Earth's motion within our solar system is anything but simple. Surprisingly, its journey through the galaxy is even more intricate. Our Milky Way galaxy is an enormous and complex arrangement, housing countless stars, gas, and dust, stretched across over 100,000 light years in diameter. One of its most captivating features is its rotation. Like an enormous spinning windmill, the galaxy's spiral arms lag behind as it rotates. This rotational motion causes the stars and gases within the galaxy to move in circular orbits around the galactic center. Earth is in one of these spiral arms, approximately 25,000 light years from the galactic center. Compared to our solar system, where only a few celestial bodies and the sun's dominant gravity need to be considered, the Milky Way's gravitational field is influenced by all its components without a single dominant object. This makes tracking the motion of galactic components challenging yet informative, unveiling abundant knowledge about our galaxy's intricate structure. Just as the Earth orbits the Sun, the Sun also orbits around the Milky Way's center at a speed of about 143 miles per second. 
completing one orbit approximately every 230 million years. This cosmic journey takes the Sun, and subsequently Earth, through different regions of the galaxy, exposing us to varying cosmic environments. Interestingly, stars in the galaxy's inner regions move faster than those in the outer regions. This is because the areas near the galaxy's center have a greater mass and stronger gravitational pull. This discrepancy mirrors how planets closer to the Sun move faster along their orbits than farther away. Astronomers search for newly formed stars that still exist in their birth orbit to determine the Sun's speed relative to the galaxy's center. In analyzing the average movement of surrounding stars, we can deduce the Sun's drift towards the galactic center at a speed of about 3.1 miles per second. Moreover, it's moving upwards and out of the galactic disk at about 4.4 miles per second. This slight but significant motion greatly influences the trajectory of both the Sun and solar system within the Milky Way. Rather than a perfect circle, the Sun's orbit around the galaxy's center is slightly elliptical, oscillating above and below the galactic plane in a cycle that completes roughly every 60 million years. Influenced by the gravitational pull of the galaxy's stars, gas clouds, and dark matter, we currently find dozens of light years above the center of the galactic disk. In a few million years, we will ascend to about 300 light years above the center before halting and descending due to the gravitational pull of the denser matter beneath us. As per the Sheba hypothesis, this vertical oscillation more than an intriguing phenomenon, may directly correlate with Earth's mass extinctions. Such a theory arises due to the increased danger presented by the disk's center, where star density and the resultant radiation are higher. The movement of the galaxy's spiral arms remains a complex, ongoing study, potentially influenced by the gravitational pull of other galaxies within our local cluster, and the presence of density waves rippling across the galactic disk. As Earth travels through regions of higher density, we may encounter a greater influx of cosmic rays and high-energy particles influencing our climate, atmospheric chemistry, and even life evolution. It's important to remember that the Sun, while pulling Earth and the other planets through the Milky Way, isn't the only body in motion. All stars within the galaxy exhibit motion, defined via their proper motion, their observable motion across the sky over time relative to the Sun. This concept typically measured in arc seconds per year, aids astronomers in tracking star movements over time, enhancing our understanding of the Milky Way's structure and dynamics. Our Earth is constantly in motion, not only in its path around the Sun, but also to nearby stars and within the grand tapestry of the universe. This motion creates an effect known as parallax, where the positions of closer stars appear to shift when observed from different points in Earth's orbit. Through this method, we can measure the distances to nearby stars, providing us a glimpse into the vast structure of our galaxy. In addition to the parallax, the proper motion of nearby stars, their actual movement through space, alters the patterns of constellations over time. This motion is particularly noticeable in the stars that are closer and move rapidly relative to us. Yet, our solar system's journey is not confined to the Milky Way. We are part of an ever-expanding universe constantly moving due to the gravitational pull of various galactic clusters and superclusters. For instance, our galaxy is in a gravitational dance with the Andromeda galaxy, part of a larger collection of galaxies known as the Local Group. This group, among others, is drawn towards an area of immense density known as the Great Attractor. Moreover, the universe is expanding, stretching the fabric of space and increasing the distances between galaxies over time. Despite this, we have a reference point in the cosmic microwave background radiation, the residual heat from the Big Bang. By measuring slight variations in this radiation, scientists can determine that our solar system moves through the universe at about 229 miles per second. We are well past the point of being amazed that Earth is not stationary, but rather an essential, although tiny, player in a complex choreography of celestial movements. The elaborate motion of our planet is a phenomenon of astounding intricacy. Not only does our world elegantly orbit the radiant sun, a path that has followed for billions of years, but this is the story's beginning. The solar system, which houses our planet, also traverses the vast distances of the Milky Way galaxy, charging forward at incredible speeds and tracing a winding trail in its wake. 
But the complexity doesn't stop there. The Milky Way belongs to a cluster of galaxies known as the Local Group, which includes several neighboring galaxies. Together, they partake in a cosmic ballet as they gravitate toward a powerful and enigmatic force, the Great Attractor. This gravitational push and pull propels the local group through space at several hundred miles per second. Yet, this is not where the tale ends. The universe is expanding, a truth uncovered by Edwin Hubble in the 1920s, implying that galaxies are receding at a staggering velocity. In conclusion, Earth is much more than an isolated rock hurling through the void of space. Instead, it's a critical component in a breathtaking cosmic ballet governed by intricate celestial mechanics that are truly awe-inspiring. As we traverse through the cosmos, we may seem like a mere speck of dust within the grandeur of the universe, but every twist and turn, every orbit and oscillation of our planet carries profound significance in the mysterious puzzle of space. If you've enjoyed this journey through the cosmos and gained a newfound appreciation for our place within it, please don't forget to give this video a like, please share it with others, also to spread this fascinating cosmic journey further.